Disney friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. And today we're talking about a book that I got sent for review called The Happy Camper and it's by Melody Carlson. I'm not gonna lie, I just had to look up what this book was about because I forgot. <laughs> I okay. forgot. I forgot. The Happy Camper is a book about a girl named Dylan who has a job that's very unsatisfactory so she ends up quitting this job. She has a boyfriend who is a jerk face. <laughs> like many of these books start out, really. Come on, ladies in fiction, why can you not find a good man? Because <laughs> every story needs a journey. Because every story uh, needs a jerk, apparently. Apparently so. So what she does is she ends up going to her grandfather's farm and living in a camper. She meets this very attractive guy, as one does when you go to a new place. Through the course of this, her ex shows up with a ring and she has to make a choice and decide if her current life is better than what she had before. I think we can say categorically yes. <laughs> it's much more deep than that. I, okay. I think I'm simplifying things a little too much. It's coming back to me, but honestly, if, if you could believe it, like even the name of it, The Happy Camper, I knew there was something about her going to live in a camper, but I could not remember. And that I'm really super sorry, especially because I got sent this book for review. But what I do remember about this book is that it was enjoyable as I was reading it. I felt like, you know, it was a really good, cozy little read that you could read when you didn't have to think about it too much, especially in this day and age where we're very stressed out with everything that's happening in the quarantine, etc. I feel like this was a really good book to read when you just like didn't really want to worry about your own problems and you just wanted to not think about things. Yeah. So I will give it that. I enjoyed it for that reason. But I, if, I, if it was any other time, I don't know if I would have felt the same way about the book. Personally, I really like thrillers. So I like to think about it. I like my, my brain to move. So it was like kind of a, a departure of what the books are that I usually read. As far as like how the two of us even engage fiction, half of our imagination is prediction. Mm -hmm. We're trying to figure out where you're going with this yeah. constantly. So if there's nowhere to go, we're not that engaged. And that's not necessarily on you. No. That's on us. That's on us. So. Not, not, not so much. Um, good on a cozy right. People do need those. I ended up giving it three stars because I thought it was solid. It was a solid book. Just what you needed at that time, but not necessarily something that I would go back and read again or anything like that. Just It was just... It was a good paperback beach read. So thank you so much for watching our little review of The Happy Camper. If you want to know more, look down below because I, like I said, I was sent this for a review from the publisher. So you can see a lot more of the information that you want, um, as well as a link out to our blog post so that you can get even more information after that. So until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.